hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is the part 6 video of this series which is the last video okay so we know this series about angular 14 consuming the graphql endpoint using the apollo angular v3 now let's think about delete operation okay for that let's go to our browser for graphql tool where we can prepare our uh, delete mutation command now click on mutation and here i can see a resolver method like remove fruit and it is expecting id as the input parameter which is non-nullable means mandatory field we have to pass okay and it can return the entire deleted fruit in the response okay let me prepare the mutation for it so first we know mutation next name of the resolver that is remove fruit and it has one input parameter like id okay we so it is a dynamic value right we have to use variable use same variable name okay and then here we have to define the type of that variable is capital i capital d and exclamatory which is a graphql type and it is a scalar json id type and in the response it's going to return full root model but what i will do i will just uh, want id as a response in it okay so this is my query sorry command mutation command so now go to our fruit mutation file and here let's add one more constant delete fruit okay gql back ticks paste here okay so now what i will do i won't create any separate a component for delete operation within the home component itself i am going to show a, a bootstrap model pop-up as a confirmation delete so if user clicks on confirm delete then i am going to invoke the graphql endpoint for removing the item at the server and the in memory cache as well okay so to do that go to home component.ts let's declare a variable like window why we declare a variable means uh, we need to access from the window because uh, in the window we have access for our bootstrap instance okay and let me create two uh, variables like delete model of any to this delete model i am going to uh, assign bootstrap model instance sorry bootstrap instance okay and another variable to hold the item to delete okay id to delete and it will be a number okay now inside of the ng on init let me assign the bootstrap instance to the delete model okay so this dot delete model equal to new window dot bootstrap okay dot model so this is going to create a instance of the model and here in the model m will be the capital okay and inside of it we have to pass the bootstrap model id so document dot get element by id okay we didn't added the bootstrap html till now let's go to bootstrap website and in the components you can go for model okay and copy this html and in the home component html let's paste the html that related to bootstrap model 
and here we will have an additional button let's remove it and here let's add uh, id like delete model any id name meaningful name and now we have to give this name here document dot get element by id now what it will do it will create an instance of model based on this document this model html and gives control to this variable means now this variable have control over the bootstrap model okay now let me create a method for opening the confirmation model like open confirmation model okay so to this model id will be input item to delete and this dot id to delete equal to id and i want to open the model so this dot delete model dot show so this method will pops up the uh, model now this method should be called from the delete button in the home component at respect to item so here next to the edit button let's add one more button here no need to use anchor tag because it depends on button click okay so delete class btn btn danger okay now let's register the click event and we have created a method right so open confirmation delete okay and pass the item id now let's do some changes in the bootstrap html like uh, title is like a delete confirmation and instead of the body we can give like are you to to delete this item okay and here close will be closed and this will be the changes will be confirm delete confirm delete okay and let's add danger okay let's uh, test whether our delete confirmation pop-up is opening or not here we have delete button right so click on it now you get confirmation pop-up uh, if i click on close pop-up will be closed if i click on delete uh, for now nothing will happen now we have to add a logic for this click method uh, for invoking the graphql endpoint to delete the item at the server okay so for that let's create a method like no component or ds let's create a method like delete okay and to this delete this dot apollo dot and we know it will be the mutate right so what i will do i will just copy the uh, logic we have already implemented in edit or add component because we are going to do just minimum modification in that code okay let me go to add component.ts and let me copy this create logic inside of this create and go to home component.ts add it here so this is a mutation method its type in the since it is a mutation that is correct but its type is not create fruit if you go to fruit mutation here type is remove fruit so copy it and come to home component.ts replace it with remove fruit and change it in couple of other areas as well okay and here mutation command is not create fruit that is like delete fruit okay 
and here variable we required only id to delete item id so this dot id to delete okay and here update store to update the in-memory cache which we required here as well and this line of code is to fetch all the data from the in-memory cache store and here we are getting and here what i will do new data equal to equal to equal to i am going to filter and remove the item that was deleted at the server okay so filter other than the deleted items i want to store it in the new data variable id not equal to equal to data dot remove root dot id okay and we are then we are storing the new data into the in memory cache store yeah that's enough logic and here we no need to navigate anywhere we just want to close the bootstrap model pop up for that this dot delete model dot hide okay that's going to closes the model and we need to register this delete method into the confirm delete button on the bootstrap model okay here click okay delete method now check in the now i got delete also let me delete this second record and open the network call as well to check the delete api invocation click on confirm the pop-up is deleted and from in memory data is deleted and if you check our api call also successful for deleting remove root or command and preview we are getting the id as a deleted id if i reload also i will get single record only because item is deleted at the server okay so that's all about the uh, angular 14 consuming graphql endpoint using angular apollo v3 library i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off